let's start with runge kutta methods to solve ordinary differential equation now what are runge kutta methods the name is derived from the name of a german mathematicians uh, uh, these are usually used to find out uh, or to solve the second order and fourth order uh, simultaneous equations as well as linear differential equations now runge kutta method possess an advantage of requiring only function values at some selected points uh, that means we don't need a higher order derivative calculations in terms of in uh, in case of uh, runge kutta methods another advantage is that the operation is identical whether the differential equation is linear or non linear that means uh, these methods can be easily programmed with the help of computer because these are suitable for a linear as well as non linear type of ordinary differential equation okay uh, uh, where we we already studied about euler's method so we can say that the euler's method are nothing but the runge kutta method for the first order now we are going to study runge kutta method for second and fourth order so let us study here runge uh, runge kutta method second order okay so we have dy by dx is equal to f of xy which is the required ode uh, and with the initial condition of x0 and y0 we need to find out uh, value of yg at x is equal to xg so as per runge kutta method uh, this is not uh, k is equal to k1 plus k2 by 2 now what is k here k is nothing but the sum of weighted average okay so these are nothing but the weighted averages at the two points k1 and k2 now this k1 and k2 evaluated at uh, as uh, h into f of x0 y0 that is at the initial uh, point and k2 is evaluated at x is equal to x0 plus h and y is equal to y0 plus k1 that means we require value of k1 in order to find out the k2 okay and by getting k1 and k2 by averaging them we can find out the value of k now look at the uh, flow chart of this method first we need to define the uh, function then we need to take the initial condition x0 y0 from the user then we need to find out uh, we need to take the value at which we need to find out uh, uh, the value of yg that is xg we have to take and step size we need to take now uh, step size is required because uh, because of the step size we will come to know that uh, how many number of iteration is equal to n we have to use to uh, 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 how many times we need to use this runge gupta methods okay so let that be n okay so for i turning from 1 to n we have value of k1 evaluated then value of k2 is evaluated then k is taken as the average of k1 and k2 then yg is nothing but y0 plus k that is initial uh, value initial condition plus this k this k which is called the weighted average that we have got k here that is added to find out the value of yg and as a uh, this is iterative method uh, this value of yg is again assigned to y0 for the next iteration okay and this process is repeated up to n finally we are going to print the value of yg whatever we have got okay as a final solution now let's understand this with the help of example now given that dy by dx plus y plus xy square is equal to 0 with the boundary condition of y0 is equal to 1 that is uh, at x is equal to 0 y value is 1 this is the initial condition okay we need to find out that y at uh, x is equal to 0 0.3 with the step size of 0.1 that means we need uh, number of iteration is equal to re number of iterations required is equal to 3 okay let's rephrase this uh, dy by dx uh, rearrange it uh, it will be equal to minus y plus xy square okay then x0 is 0 y0 is 1 just put those values in order to find out the k1 then use this value of k1 to find out the k2 because uh, k2 is nothing but h into f of x0 plus h plus y0 plus k1 okay so this value of k1 we have to use in order to find out the k2 so k2 is found out 
average of these two are taken then it is being added to the initial value of y0 and by which we will get value of yg at the first uh, at the first inter, uh, iteration after the first iteration that is at y is equal to 0.1 okay so as we have known that we need to find out uh, we have to repeat this uh, runge gupta second order method three times there, that is why you will find that there are three iterations which are explained in this slide at the end of third iteration you will get yg is equal to at x is equal to 0.3 you will get y is equal to 0.715328 now here you will find in runge gupta second order method uh, you don't need a evaluation of the higher order derivative okay and the method is quite straightforward because of that it has a advantage that it can be easily programmed now let us consider about runge gupta fourth order method okay now this is somewhat uh, a bit more complicated than second order method because instead of taking a uh, straight away average of the two weighted points uh, here uh, in case of runge gupta fourth order method we are <coughs> sorry uh, we are taking we are calculating the value of uh, total weighted average k is equal to k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 divided by 6 okay where k1 k2 k3 and k4 are calculated by these formulas and everywhere you find out that uh, these uh, k2 k3 k4 are dependent on the evaluation of k1 that means all these values are interdependent in calculation let us study with the help of example now in this example you will find that uh, this is the function of x that is x square plus y square okay the initial conditions are at y is equal to 1 x, uh, at x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1.5 okay uh, and we need to find out at x is equal to 1.3 what is the value of y that means uh, number of iterations will be given by 1.3 minus 1 divided by 0 0.1 because 0 0.1 is nothing but the step size so whatever we got is that we will we need to require uh, we need to repeat this runge gupta fourth order method three times now here uh, in iteration one you can find that x0 is equal to 1 y0 is equal to 1.5 okay after doing uh, after carrying out runge gupta fourth order uh, method uh, one iteration you will find out that value of yg that is nothing but y at 1.1 okay after second iteration you will get the value of y at 2.2 and uh, at the last uh, we will find what is the value of uh, y at x is equal to 1.3 this is how we are going to repeat this uh, uh, repeat the uh, loop or we can say repeat the runge gupta fourth order formula three times in order to find out what is y is equal to 1.3 so this is with the help of simple example this is another example okay in this in this example also you can find out that uh, this is quite a complex function okay by uh, to solve this function uh, with the help of taylor series uh, which requires very higher order derivative is quite a tough task okay whereas runge gupta fourth order method can be easily used okay to find out the uh, solution of this problem that is why uh, this is the uh, advantage that runge gupta method has that it does not require higher order derivative calculations because of this it is used in many algorithms uh, which are used in the software 